This is a quick look at Skype for Windows Phone. So the Skype beta just came out for all Windows phones and you can go download it right now. It's free and it lets you do most of the things you need. You can look through your contacts list and you can write instant messages to people and you can even call them. And you can have group conversations here, which I have a group conversation right now. And I can say hi, it even has smileys right there. And send. And it'll go out to both of these phones. And both these phones are connected to Wi-Fi. So sometimes it can be a little slow for some reason. Not sure why that is. But it works pretty well. And what's really nice is the notification system inside the application. It works quite well. It's pretty cool. So if I go to this one, let's see. There's It's pretty confusing which one is which. And so I send a new message here. Then on this phone, you'll get a little notification up here, right there, one. And that's really cool animated, and you can just click on that, and it'll take you back to your recents, and then you can go to that. And you can instantly swipe over to look at their profile, and then swipe back, and if you want to start a phone call, you just click the phone call button, and you can call their no mobile number or Skype. So here we go, we're ringing that. And then there's the calling interface on this phone, and you can answer it, and we're probably going to have to mute some of these. Okay. And right here you have the option for speakerphone in the middle. It's either speakerphone right there, or the earpiece, so it can go through your earpiece, and you can turn the display off while talking, so that you can actually have it up against your ear, and listen to everything without accidentally talking. And you can just swipe over to the chat panel, and you can still uh, send instant messages if you'd like to. And the volume works really well with the microphone if you're just holding it in front of you. It still works perfectly. So it's pretty good. It is a little slow there with the animations between just because there's a lot going on. But it's pretty good. And the sound quality is really great from my testing. And I would demo it, but I bet it'll just sound pretty weird here. I don't know if... Nope. Sound's not coming through right now. Oh, there we go. Okay. No? Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. So it's a little echoey here because I'm right next to it. But it works really well when I go into the next room. So, overall that's really excellent. And there's, of course, video calling. So if we end this call here, and we go from the Samsung Focus here, we can send out a video call. So, you just click the video button, and it'll start dialing. And so video calls actually display in landscape here. And as you can see, sometimes it isn't that up to date. Phone still hasn't responded. So it's definitely a beta still. And it doesn't have any push notifications, and it lacks a live tile, so you won't ever know if you get a instant message or a phone call in the background. Uh, right now it says missed call. So there still is some bugginess to it, but let's see if we can get it working. See if we can get a phone call to go through. And the video quality isn't that great either. It's kind of choppy, but I mean, it's a mobile phone, so you can't expect too much. So here we go. We can turn on video here. Okay, well, it just randomly failed. Uh, once again, buggy. <laughs> but it's not too bad for a beta, and at least we have something to play around with finally, which is pretty nice. Okay, so we answer with video. And... Oh, we need to turn off those microphones. There we go. Okay. So here, you can see what the Samsung Focus is looking at. So it's a really slow frame rate, but that's pretty much typical on mobile phones. And this phone is actually on 3 or 4G, so that could account for some of the difference. But you can swipe over and you can chat with people while doing a video chat, so that's really nice. And you send that, and then on the other phone, it shows up right there. And you can just swipe over. So it's all really nicely animated, and once they improve the performance more, the app is going to be really excellent, and 
Overall, you might as well just check out Skype in the marketplace. It's a free beta. Just click on the link in our YouTube video or in our article below.